hi guys welcome back to my channel long time <coughs> freaking dicky no scene so today i'm gonna catch up with you on life while of course i'm not capable of holding myself accountable of not dyeing my hair so it's blonde and now i bought purple hair dye so I'm dying it purple again. So for precaution, we have plastic bags because I don't have gloves because I didn't prepare for this. Good thing enough. So what I have to talk about. Um, I have teeth problem. If we're jumping into eating disorder stuff, I have teeth problem, which makes me very difficult to chew stuff and it's very hard for me to eat food because it gets stuck in my teeth and it hurts really badly. So now I'm mostly drinking coffee. I'm eating some foods, but I can't eat all kinds of foods. There's some stuff that I'm no longer able to eat, like meat because it gets stuck in my teeth it gets stuck in my teeth very easily and then it's hard to get it out I need to use a toothpick a lot of the times while I'm eating to get out all of the residue from my teeth and I haven't been over exercising oh my god uh, but I've been working out in a good way not too little not too much uh oh i think we're out of dye which sucks i need to dye my whole hair oh god my mental health has been better. Me and my ex broke up. I had a girlfriend for almost a year now and it didn't work out. I was abusive towards her, she was abusive towards me and together it was super duper toxic. I'm trying to dye all of my hair. I'm trying not to miss too much of it. And this is what it looks like when you're not a professional and you decide to dye your hair alone. Oh my God, I have so much missed spots. I need to dye it all. See all the spots I missed? Let me see if there is any color left. Yeah, I got some color out good for me so I've been doing a lot of recreational drugs like psychedelics and I've been slutting around whoring around you can say and meeting a lot of people and doing a lot of bullshit because it's war right now here in Israel and I moved cities I moved to the north and now I have my own apartment. As you can see, I live by myself for the first time, you can say, as an adult. I, oh my God, I try not to stain my hand, but you can, you can dye your hair without staining your hand. Good. Um, so, eating wise, since my teeth are pain in pain and I haven't been able to eat so it decreased my appetite so now I eat one meal a day um, I'm losing and gaining the same five kilograms or ten pounds 12 pounds the same 12 pounds I keep on losing and gaining I'm moving between 73 to 68 kilograms and I'm quite fine, I don't know. 
uh, eating disorder wise I don't care that I'm oh damn I don't care that I'm a bit overweight I'm fine with that you know but like mentally I'm in a better place than I was half a year ago but still it's very hard for me to be open and honest with people and not to shut down and you know um i had crying episodes there was a guy that wanted to be my boyfriend and he was here and he wasn't sexual but he was touching very much and he was very nice to me like over nice and i think something in that made me feel that it's not normal and it made me psyched and all insane because I became crazy because of that and it drove me insane because I'm not used to people treating me nicely so I was very triggered from his presence here and today I wrote to him that I don't think I'm ready for a relationship right now and I think and I don't think it's that I'm not ready for a relationship right now I think that it's with him I think that you know it's just he's not the guy for me he is overly nice and it's suspicious I don't know I'm not used for people being too nice and if you're too nice something is weird as you can see my eyeshadow is blue and red I bought a new palette today the Harley Quinn palette as you can see it's by Mad, Mad, Mad Love uh, by Essence those are the shadows you can see I'm gonna show you <coughs> as you can see all the shadows it even, it, it even has a half and half shadow look it has a pretty mirror and I like it a lot um, also a few palettes that I got since I last been here is the Evil Queen palette also by Essence beautiful and the Ursula palette it's more of purples so yeah me and my ex broke up um officially we we broke up as a couple on the end of july like three months ago but we officially broke up the relationship at all like no contact you know with your ex no contact with your ex please because what happened that we broke up and we stayed in touch and from that we became over sexual again with each other and kind of in a relationship but without being in a relationship without with without the um saying that you're in a relationship but we did all the coupley things and all the relationship things and all the jealousy relationship things and i couldn't be with anyone else or speak to anyone else or go out with anyone else as long as i'm doing stuff with her because um yeah that's what she decided i cannot do anything with anyone else except her but i'm not her girlfriend i am the girlfriend but i'm not the girlfriend so i don't get it so we broke up after a few months of trying and trying and i noticed that nothing is changing and no matter what i said whatever bothered me or wasn't good enough for me in the relationship or was the reason that we broke up because she didn't change anything and she didn't even try i tried to work on myself very hard she tried too but she didn't she didn't notice my trying and i didn't notice her trying so we were toxic to each other you know i won't say she was toxic to me because that won't be fair i was toxic to her just as well and I was too overly attached and she was too independent, but at the same time very needy. She needed my advice and opinion on everything. And not to mention that we're a few, five years apart. So we're from different generations. She's Gen Z, I'm millennial. Um, 
so yeah and just a lot of stuff happened I punched a girl in the face she stole money from me and cannabis so I punched her in the jaw and kicked her out of my house because no one would disrespect me in my house and steal from me um, apartment tour coming if I'll keep up dating and being active which I don't have anything else to do in my house right now except watching videos and doing videos so I might be active again um, I'm trying to quit my sleeping pills I'm now on clonazepam and intamine but I used to be on 4 milligrams and 80 milligrams and now I'm, I'm on 2 milligrams and 40 milligrams today I'm gonna try and reduce that um, so I can sleep without drugs at the end eventually you know that's the main goal I saw a movie about insomnia and I met a person that is actually pretty much me um, in the beginning of this channel very hectic very sporadic can't sleep very you know me a few years ago and he says that he doesn't sleep for a few days until he, he knocks it he gets knocked down and goes to bed and I don't want to do that but I think that's the only way that I can um, somehow overcome the drug addiction that I have for the medication for sleep because if I won't be addicted to it well if I won't be code so dependent so dependent in that medication because right now I'm in a situation that if I won't take the medication I won't sleep and that's what I believe that no matter how long will I lay in bed or try to fall asleep I won't be able to fall asleep as long as I don't take my meds it's like a placebo effect I need to try, sorry, I need to, oh, try and change it somehow and make it, I don't know, um, different. And I noticed that, like, when I'm going to bed, I'm, like, practicing for tripping, I guess. I'm, I'm getting ready to trip for night. I'm, you know, set and setting for tripping, you have to... Uh, get ready and that's what I'm doing I'm getting my ambiance ready I'm getting myself ready for sleep and then I take the drugs <laughs> I take my meds and then I go to bed I have an, an eye mask and I have like those blankets and I need the temperature in a certain way and I need to eat something and I need to smoke before bed and I need like I have a ceremony of going to bed and if I don't do that <laughs> It's funny. It's like a night routine, but it's change. It changes every night. Depend depends on depending on what are my needs and what have I been through that day, you know. So anyway, um, I'm doing fine, except like the weight loss and gain. I don't like that. Uh, I'm meeting new people, which is good. I'm getting new friends. Um, I'm very active on the messaging chat, the, on the chat. I have a group of people that I met online and now we're friends, I think. I guess, well not friends friends, but like we can spend time together on the phone and talk and today is a very hard day. Um, today is the 7th of October, 2024. And it's one year anniversary for the horrible massacre that happened on the 7th of October 23. As you can see on my necklace, 7, 10, 23, and the shape of Israel. Um, never forget, remember. So, yeah. Um, I made. I went to the store today, I, I did a walk today in the morning, and I went to the store, I bought, um, the, what did I bought? I bought lentils, black lentils, um, lettuce, bananas, but very ripe bananas, you know, like when they're the best, so I ate a banana in the morning, and some lentils with tahini, I bought tahini, and I bought um, all oat milk for coffee, although I've been drinking today, um, matcha water with some chia seeds which is great but yeah
we'll see how it goes. Next time you'll see me, I'll have purple hair. And yeah, I'm gonna getting back to myself, I guess. See you guys.